have we have we found the spot that we're going to use yet? I mean, it is hot out here, and there's ugh, there's bugs. So, I'm I'm getting I'm dying of thirst here. Can you? Where's my drink? Can I have my drink, please? Somebody has some shade. Did we set up the shade yet? I need, this is not cold enough. This is not cold enough. We need to get the shit. Wait, are we recording? No, wait, we were not ready. Hey, it's Timothy also with 9533 Training and Consulting. I'm going to talk about one of those things that, uh, you know, you don't think about until you actually hit it. And those are your knees. Uh, I'm going to go over a different, bunch of different kinds of knee pads on which ones I think actually work the best. Because uh, one of the things I've always noticed when you put a knee pad on, it slides. And the last thing you want to do is have it to be on your shin when you need it to be on your knee when you're going ahead and kneeling. So let's take a look at some of these knee pads and how they work and we'll figure out which ones are actually work the best for you. So let's take a look at the Cry Precision built-in knee pads. Now one of the differences you see in knee pads is you've got a bunch of different kinds. You've got those that sit over your clothing. You have those that sit in your clothing like what Cry Precision does and you have those that sit underneath your clothing. You need to pay attention to the different kinds that are out there to make sure that it works for your application. They all work differently, they all have different benefits. Now, one of the things I like about the Cry Precision is that they are built in. They're always there. No matter what I do or what I move, they're ready to go. So if I actually have to do something and then I need to engage, so I need to engage a target, and I go ahead and draw, I've got it already. It's there, it doesn't move. I don't have to be like, oh, it's on my shin, I need to pull it up, and all of a sudden, you know, if all of a sudden you kneel down quickly and you hit a rock, you're gonna feel that for the next hour to an hour and a half. It's gonna suck. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that when you're looking for knee pads, Cry Precision has a great option for you. Because they're built in, once again, you definitely can't go wrong. No matter you're dropping down to your knees quickly or not, they are a good material. Now, the way they work is that they are actually Velcroed in. So when you see these openings, that's basically an insert for the knee pads. It's a really good, solid material. So what you can see is that it does have a honeycomb pattern and it flexes. This is our flex knee pad. It, there is Velcro around the edges. That Velcro allows it to integrate with the actual clothing. All right, so excellent option. Not inexpensive in any way. So let's take a look at another option now. All right, so another option we have is the Alta knee pads. This is what you kind of see of a lot of operators. You see everybody wearing them, and you'll see them, they're actually pulled down around your shins. But the problem is, is that all of a sudden I need to engage, I need to use these. I'm not going to be able to reach down and pull them up because obviously they are Velcroed, just a Velcro enclosure. So I'm going to need to keep these in place. One of the problems that I notice with these is that they do, they do tend to slip, and slippage is a problem. We don't want those to move. But hard plastic on the outside, good protection. It's solid. As it bends, you bend your knee, you do get a little binding behind your knee from the straps. So you're gonna wanna make sure that, you know, if you're a bigger person or you've got a lot of kit on, it's gonna bind down. You're not gonna be able to get to a lot of lower pockets because the knee pads are gonna be right there in the plate, in, way, in the way. This is a good option for you, but let's look at another option that Alta has on what's called an articulated knee pad. So another option we have is what's called an articulated knee pad. An articulated knee pad means that there is a bending portion in the front. So if you can see, as the knee bends, I've got a piece above it which is allowing it to actually stay in place. It looks bulky, you're like, oh, well, it looks like it's sticking up, but it's not. When you kneel on these, this has got a lot of really good cushion behind it. You know, I'm not big on making my knees hurt, and these feel really, really comfortable. The way they work, is that we've got basically quick clips on the back. So what we have here is we've got these quick little clips that clip into the knee pads behind. And with that, I don't have to worry about Velcro. They're always adjusted to my specifications. So when I put them on, they're quick. There is a huge, you can actually see it from behind. You can see the outline. There's this huge extra padding right there 
directly behind the knee. That right there feels phenomenal. And I can feel it. There is a little bit of a groove in the middle which helps your patella track in there. But all of this gives great feeling, great protection. I've got it on it right now, and I know that no matter where I move, because of this hinge, this articulated part, I'm not going to have the knee pad slide. It's gonna stay right in place, which is what I want it to do. Because if it slides and I kneel, I'm not big for knocking my knee on a rock. So let's take a look at one other one. Just a basic knee pad that you can find at just any box store. So another option is something you can get just from the hardware store. Uh, this is just a layered gel knee pad. Now, one of the things with this knee pad is that because I've got these gigantic tree trunk thighs, right, huge, that I cannot get this tight enough. And if I were to, it's already off my knee. That was just taking two steps. There is Velcro on the sides, uh, but this Velcro, you know, if I want to get it tight, I need it over here. And it won't, there is no ability to make this any tighter than what it's preset for. This preset gel, yes, it is extremely comfortable. It feels great behind. But because they slide, just walking, they're sliding down now. There's my knee. It's a great for shin protection. Knee protection, eh, not so much. I don't know if these are going to actually do it. And I'll tell you right now, they won't. I don't know. For me, it's a no-go. So, one thing we need to pay attention to is when we're looking for knee pads, look for articulated hinges. Ulta makes great knee pads. I'll put links in the description below so you can see where to get those. If you're looking for cry precision, cry precision is expensive. They give no discounts and because they are their own person, they, it's expensive. But you're looking for top of the line gear, tier one asset, that's what these are. Cry precision makes probably the best knee pad inserts or knee pads integrated that I've ever seen. A lot of people try and mimic them, but they can't quite do it. So once again, if you're looking for knee pads, think about it. As always, on time, on target, never quit. Hoo-yah. Okay, yeah, you know, I think that was pretty good. That's a pretty good video. Let's get, um, get some stuff over here. And we're gonna get my beverage. Yeah, did you see the, did you see what was going on? It's really good, wasn't it? It was. Yeah. Yeah, I know. But we're gonna need it. We're gonna need to pack all this up because we're gonna need to shoot another video. Yeah. Yeah, we're, it's over there. You're still here? No, no, we're, the video's done. That was it. That was the whole video. We just talked about some knee pads on different things, but no, there's nothing else. No, I got nothing else going on right now. But what you should definitely do is go to YouTube, 9533 Training Consulting, and see our other videos out there. We definitely need you to like and subscribe because we want to be able to make more videos for you. I mean, we put a lot of energy into these to make them for you. You can't see all the lights that are sitting over here, but you know, like and subscribe. But that's it. We're done. You can go. No, really, it's done. You can go. That was it. We're, we're, we've, we finished. All right? All right. See you next time.